out and push that cane through there, and he'd go off in the, a, like, then they put it in a pan, and he cook, and then they could pass it on to the next pan, which is a little bit more molasses, and then on. Here's the bungee cord that you can recommend it. And we, we watch them make molasses. It took a long time. I took care of the garden a little bit. And the first time I did the garden, I pulled up all the food instead <laughs> of the weeds. <laughs> you got in trouble over that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I learned the difference in food plants and weed plants. Live and learn, live and learn. When I got to, I was 17, riding in the back seat of my aunt and uncle's car, and we were going through Colorado. And we came to a stop sign, and they were fixing to turn left, or, yeah, turn left. And I said, I'm going to get out of here. And they looked at each other and said, you're going to get out of here, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going north. North? What are you going to do north? I said, I'm going to be a lumberjack. Okay. They let me out at 17. <laughs> they drove off. And I started hitchhiking. Wrong direction, I went west. <laughs> so I ended up driving a stagecoach and riding in the rodeo. <laughs> Didn't get to be a lumberjack. Well, <laughs> that's the way it was supposed to work. Yeah. But now, I got to saw trees down when I lived with some of my aunt and uncles. They had to have me saw a tree down like that. And I knew how to notch it. And then saw it at the back side and then take a wedge and a sledgehammer and I'd start it falling and bloom. I could put a stick in the ground out there and drive that stick in the ground. Hmm. Wow. Except for the one at the old New Hope School. Do you remember? Well, I. It was the first time you ever misnotched one and you dropped it on the well house. Oh. <laughs> The well house. I didn't. I knew I didn't drop it on the school. No. <laughs> Just so it wasn't the outhouse. <laughs> One more no. <laughs> She's fast, so I'd say. You doing Hey, Carl? man, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. A, that's the banjo. I was just Here you go. I'm the hotel manager. Every other place, I, I'm the camp director of Bush of Springs Assembly. So that there's a, when, when we're up here, it's I run the hotel, but really we run a retreat center. For, this is a Christian retreat center, as you probably know. 
uh, where the United Methodist Church bought it in 1941, uh, just prior to World War II, uh, which is interesting because the hotel was built just prior to the Civil War. So in spite of some bad timing, it's still here. So um, what, what I know, and some of you probably know a good deal more than, than I do, uh, is that the, originally this was Cherokee land uh, up, up through the, the 1820s. Uh, when the Cherokees uh, lost the rights to the, the land, I'd, I'd like to say that they sold it because there's some people that said it was a sale, but it was, they kind of got cheated out of it. And this was not just this property, but a lot of other property. Uh, and it became open to settlement. Uh, the United States originally didn't want this part of the state to be settled, uh, or it wasn't a state at the time, uh, because uh, they wanted a buffer between the French and the, uh, and the colonies. So having American Indians out here was it was a great buffer, uh, but it didn't work. People settled the land anyway, and finally it was it was bought up. So when the land was sold, uh, the United States government sold it in big blocks. So 640 acres would be the smallest you could buy, and the average person couldn't afford to to pot, buy that much land. So speculators moved in, and they would buy big chunks of land, and then they would chop it into smaller pieces and sell it off. Uh, originally, the land that was up here. I uh, didn't have any trees on it. The Cherokee burned all the tree, all, everything off every year. So this was all fields, as far as the eye can see, uh, for the whole, the whole county area. Uh, the trees came much later. Uh, Bersheba Kane, who lived in McMinnville, uh, her husband was making a land deal with one of these speculators. Her husband also worked in land. And the, the meeting took place at a cabin down the bottom of the hill here. And she didn't want to hang around for the meeting, so she and probably a few other people went for a hike and hiked up the hill just to see what it would look like. And she came across a spring. And the spring has uh, iron deposits in it and, and uh, was considered to be healthy. There are a number of other springs that are around the country, so they still exist. And it was considered that if you drank this water, it was good for your health. It actually gave you diarrhea, but that's <laughs> another story. And the spring. Uh, location is just down the road here there's a little yellow house out here and just off to the left you'll see a big hole and that's where the spring was uh, in the eight, the 1920s when the road was being built down here which is not where it was supposed to be built but some politicians got involved and decided to build this crazy switchback system that's down here the blasting that took place disrupted the, the ground and uh, the spring was lost so the spring uh, fell down through and that's this little, uh -huh. it's, a little it's called a little dust beetle, and it, it bores in there and it leaves a little pile of dust in the floor where they go in. And we we have to you know, have to treat it ever so often for them. That, this was the kitchen. Thank you, sir. Yo. It was separate, separate from the house. The fire in the kitchen, the house wouldn't burn. And that's the original kitchen to the house down there. Uh huh. She's probably pulling all the stuff. She's oh, put a so you tell me, Karen's water. making her biscuits at another location. Uh, she doesn't. Location. She does not want you to see the recipe. That's right. She said. It was a secret and she couldn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but I found out what her what her secret is. She told Lynn she uses lard. Yeah. Instead of Crisco. Well, but I can tell you that something. That was a Karen made me a hundred bucks to come over here and get your recipe. <laughs>
perfect. 